Hello everyone, this is Richard Pua from Singapore. We have all heard about Bitcoin, but uh, how many of us really understand this cryptocurrency called Bitcoin? Let me try to explain this in the plain and simple language. First, we must understand the fundamental of Bitcoin, which is it allows peer-to-peer -peer electronic transfer without a third party, quick and cheap. Secure, truthfully transparent and decentralized. Now, these are all very big claims. Let me try to explain to each and every one. Most important, we must first understand that the Bitcoin ecosystem is written in an open source or open code programming. Let's start with peer-to-peer -peer electronic transfer. Actually, this is nothing new. Today, we already have PayLa or PayNow which is electronic transfer, also with Pay, uh, PayPal, Google Pay, Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, and many others. They are all fast and almost immediate. Bank apps like PayLa or PayNow is free because they want, to, want people to try the system first and gain confidence. In the future, uh, uh, there may be a little bit of fees imposed when they have gained enough market coverage. Whereas in the case of PayPal and non-bank application, they all charge a fee to the merchant or the seller. The big difference in Bitcoin's peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, which means A transfer to B direct anywhere in the world, and there's no third party involved. A can be in Singapore, B can be in, uh, let's say, uh, Timbuktu or any corner of the world, as long as there is internet connection. And the fee charge is very negligible. The charge is solely based on how big the message or byte in computer in computer term. For example, if you send 0 0.01 Bitcoin, which is in today's value roughly $92, because one Bitcoin is 9002 the fee could be 50 cents or less. Similarly, if A sent 1,000 Bitcoin to B, today's value 9.2 million dollar US, the fee charge could be just a few dollars. The charge is strictly by the back size of the message. So the difference between the two transfer in the back size of the number 0 0.1 and 2 million or 1,000 Bitcoin, the difference, what, what difference does it make is, is actually a, a, a small fee when the byte is a little bit bigger. So it doesn't matter the amount you send. It could be uh, uh, $10 million of uh, dollars or $100 million equivalents of Bitcoin. The amount charged is actually insignificant. And there's no other third-party charges. You know? 
Imagine if you make a transfer to anywhere in the world by the bank, one million dollar will probably cost you minimum a few hundred dollars, right? If not a thousand. Whereas in the case of the uh, bank transfer like PayPal or Western Union Bank, A has to go through a third party, in the case of PayPal, then go through a local bank because of currency differences, then to the re recipient's country's bank before, uh, even recipient's uh, country's bank have to convert it to local currency before it reach B. You see the long journey and in between each station, someone has to manually check the transmission detail before passing to the next and it incur high manpower and cost. On top of that, there is a possibility of human error along the process. Western Union Bank is known to have charged foreign workers who send money home up to 15% or more, depending on whether B is in the major city of the country or in the rural kampong. Bitcoin completely eradicate this process to save time and cost. Now, Bitcoin uh, programming is written in, three, in, in open source, which means anyone can view the code. Also, there is a possibility of anyone to disturb the code by editing the code, erase the code, or add a new code. Yet, you see Bitcoin network has been operating 11 years now without a hiccup. To further understand, I think there are three very important features in Bitcoin network that everyone need to understand. One, the node. The node means any computer that is connected to the Bitcoin network is called a node. Consensus. Every decision in the system is by consensus. There's no trust of anybody. As long as the consensus says so, that's it. And then the other thing, the but the other point is the hash. Hash is a very high powered mathematical cryptographic clunching of data into non-intelligent strings of a fun numerical character jumbled up with a uh, small and capital letter. In this, in this episode, we should now understand Bitcoin network is peer-to-peer, -peer, direct, fast and cheap, no third party, and it's open source. I will try to explain the mechanism of how A transfer Bitcoin to B. How, this, how does it work in the Bitcoin network? And I promise you, it's very interesting because you can also do it. So see you next time. Bye. Cheers.